So we got Ardal. And I do like this uh, little <laughs> hand. Showing how many cards I have left. Okay. Maybe we're just gonna go like this. Although that guy has nothing to replay. Never mind that. Well, it's always fun watching you make one, especially when they work. <laughs> um. Yeah, but sometimes I'm just stuck and like, fuck, what are we supposed to do? Let's go with the smuggler. This could be useful. Last round. Hmm. Oh. Four or less power. I think the plan is gonna be quite simple here. We just do a dragoon. And the plan is simple. We are passing. To work! And he has to push us round two. To try to win. I just don't want to risk the... Risk losing round one. Then definitely lose the game. Okay. We did not get a Witcher. And I'm not sure if we should chance it. I would like to draw some traps, but maybe maybe we're gonna chance it a little bit. No, never mind that. We can't chance it. Praise be to the great sun! Okay, I just start some value generation. Okay. We have to push him because I don't have traps. Well, I do have Yorvid Gambit, but I would like to play that next turn. Okay. I have to play the Witchers. And he's getting hit by Ragnarok, so we're good. That seemed like a massive waste, but if he pushes us, like that Ragnarok could have been completely useless. Okay, having some traps is not bad. Hmm. Interesting. But too many traps, definitely bad. Alright, let's just go with that. So, the plan is to play the Elven Swordmaster first. Probably just follow it up with a bunch of uh, sentries. May your sword and arm be one. And running the trap deck is a little bit better now because the likelihood that someone has artifact removal went down quite a bit. He probably has 4 damage. Yeah, we're gonna be on the melee row. If anything, it should draw some removal. Oh my god. This guy has a lot. Removal. He probably has the other witchers. He has damage and lock. He's probably gonna take away this guy when I play it. 
Not like it helps him, but screws with me. That's why I didn't want to go... Uh, didn't want to fully commit to the Doblatana Sentry. Okay. Sure. <laughs> the Elf Guardian Knight works. Open has nothing. Alright. Obedience or the lash. <laughs> okay, this is basically the the sign that his hand is just loaded with removal. So I can play this, but the likelihood pops. that she stays up. So does she get killed by three damage or five damage? Actually, They're she's dead. probably gonna get locked. Oh, she's dead. <laughs> so double crushing trap. Gonna be played one before last. Actually, maybe we should move the guys from the back to the front. Because the front guys are... Yeah, we can't use Brewer on those. But maybe I'm just gonna use a Pitbull Trap now. That's actually pretty good. So I have five movement. That should be good enough. Yeah, that's kind of a dead giveaway if I play it right away. Slaughter them to a man. Okay, they're playing it like that. We are playing Jorvet next turn, then Jorvet's Gambit, then Kieran, most likely. So we have to move those in the front. Jorvet's getting played, and uh, he should be get, he should be played uh, next to the Mahakam Horn, obviously. But that could be a crushing trap if I don't have. Jorvid's Gambit. Nothing will stop us. Okay. Mm. Ah. Let's just go with that. No need to prove her right now. Oh, that hurts. It doesn't really matter which ones I really move. Lock a unit and move it to the other row. Kind of matters a little bit with the slave driver. Come on, Bruver. Holy crap.
I got 22. Uh, playing your vet on the left could have been justified. But yeah, we got him. GG. That was tough. Uh, t -t -t maybe not that. Okay. I just don't want to draw into the Witchers too much. This is actually a little odd that he is playing Airden. Is that a Mortar deck? So we can go first. And I suppose the goal is... To... Swords I smile at. Weapons Just laugh. Kind of tempo out. Now I play other games, but I do like to watch people play. We need more tournaments. What are the games you play? One game that I plan to return to is uh, Pathfinder Kingmaker. I'm just a big sucker for those kind of games. And I think it was... Okay, but at the time it was pretty broken. So... Uh, yeah. I plan to return to that. Rerun of the Batman series? Oh, no, no, no. Hit first. Maybe, maybe. Go with that. I never played those Batman games. Though, I, I tried to get into the Telltale Batman series, but I even couldn't get into that. It wasn't the best. Mm. Boost all death fish. I never I'm a little bummed that Telltale uh, Studios went bankrupt. They made some good games. I definitely didn't play all their games, especially by the end. But it was still fun. Oh, well, let's just pass, I think. I can just lock that. And that would be a pretty jerk move. So he'd, he would have one foglet in the deck. There you go. Enjoy! No, not your cup of tea, I see. Oh, uh, I wouldn't really say that. I enjoy action games. I, I, if that's the one you're talking about. I do enjoy them. But, uh... I don't know, I, I tend to, well, <laughs> I was just about to say I tend to get bored eventually. I don't know, I, I tend to prefer them uh, socially. If, if I'm if I playing it with other players or other people, I think that's, that's more fun. Um, I do need to find some good cards. Let's just pass. Actually, I, I, I made an effort to play less action games. Because I, I did play them. I just played some like dumb shooters or whatnot. And I'm not gonna judge anybody who's gonna, who plays them because I fucking love them. But I just felt like at the end of it, I would just... You know, I, it, was, it wasn't just... I, no, no, no. no. If, if you play them in in uh, in moderation, that's, that's great, but... I don't know, I kind of played too much. <laughs> Damn action games. 
The the latest one that comes to mind was uh, Warframe. Holy crap! I, I kind of got hooked with Warframe. It was good, but at one point I was just 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 playing Warframe and uh, was not really questioning why I was playing it. I was just like getting stuff. Wait, what do we want? Actually, I don't want anything. So. Yeah, but that's just my weakness, just kind of something I, I kind of ended up bringing up. Definitely didn't have to. Me too, I like the Walking Dead series, but not so much in the end. Yeah, do you like the Walking Dead uh, TV series? I played the fairy tale one, that was fun. Ooh, Wolf Among Us, really good. Uh, one of the best. I think... For me, well, I don't know, I, I could say my top three, but I didn't play all of them, so I don't know if that, that would count for much. I like this auto pass a lot. For, for me, my, my top three would be uh, Tails. Of the Borderlands, that was really good. I love the humor, really good stuff. Uh, Wolf Among Us was good, but I think like maybe the Walking Dead was a little better. But for me, the the Tales of the Borderlands was the best, slightly edging out. Uh, others. Uh, let's just go with Puffco in the back. I like the humor. It was it was kind of dumb at times, but it was still pretty damn fun. So I liked it. Tomb Raider series. Uh, I I kind of I, I played it a little bit, but I, I stopped playing it partially because my my system is not the best. So well, that sucks. Oh my god, I hate that. It's the lowest unit. Well, the least bad option for me is maybe doing a Vrihi Dragoon. Moving this guy out to the fire, but then blowing up the Imperial Manticore. The killing gals in the fire. Holy shit, that's annoying. <laughs> I would need to move both of them out, and I think I should do that. So I'm gonna move both of them out. For now. And play a smuggler. And I kind of like this at the a 5. This hit is not too important. But I definitely don't... Oh, to this row. Does he, does he have a way to trigger it? I think this is fine. Because they're all gonna be deleted. I can just like throw something in the back, but it should be something that's... Kind of relatively big. Uh, hey Tsarn. Uh, you played with this guy today? The Frosted Doggy? How was it? Did you beat him? Did you play the Borderlands series? Oh, uh, yeah. The action game, you mean. I did. I, I liked it. You lost? I have to avenge you! Don't get your hopes up though. But that's the plan. We will avenge you if I... Well, if I can avenge you. Well, actually we need to be careful about this Yorvitz Gambit. Uh, let's just play the horn. I need to be careful here. What am I doing? So this doesn't need to hit. Crushing trap. 
This should hit. Doesn't really... Actually, there's a chance that he's gonna eat it. And that way I should really hit them. I think the chance is pretty high. But I think the, the front will die. So that's not a problem. So I can play the Elven Scout. Then we play Jorvet's Gambit. Then we play the Crushing Trap. Actually, we're probably gonna play Jorvet with the Crushing Trap, picking up the, the special Spicy Trap. Maybe we're just killing that, just in case. Actually, fucking hell. Okay, let's just do that. Actually, I should have played next to the... Oh, come on! I fucked up! Maybe I should just trigger the Mahakamorn, yeah, that makes sense. We should just trigger the Mahakamorn as soon as possible. That way I won't lose... Oh. Yeah. The lowest. Okay. I gotta play this. Do I trigger it? I think we gotta do it. What am I supposed to do? Hit that. Trigger all death fish. Does he have like a K run as the finisher? So Pitfall Trap didn't trigger. But we can actually replay the Mahakam Horn. That's crazy. Oh. So we're I am who I need I'm, to be. Wait. Yeah, I can play that last. But now we're playing the crushing trap. I think he's just gonna know what the fuck is up. I can just move my guy in the front. Try to prevent it from dying. Try to set up some kind of a... Well, whatever. Keep, keep that hit. For later. Maybe he doesn't have a K-Run. <laughs> he actually didn't have a way to trigger the Deathfish guys, which is a little odd, but yeah, GG.